What's up, y'all? It's Biggs Burke. And, uh, you know, we got Fame Academy down here at the official studio with Jay-Z, Rockefeller, Reasonable Doubt was recorded. So we wanted to give y'all a little installation, a little taste and feel of what we did back in the days. So all you artists on the come up that's trying to get in the business, understand that life before digital, it wasn't that easy. If you see all this analog equipment and everything we did, it was a lot of hard work. So don't take what you're doing for granted. Remember, know about the business you're getting in it. Just don't be passionate, but understand the business as well because it's really hard thing and tough thing to get into. So understand there's going to be losses before there's gains. This Biggs, and I'm signing out. Holla. Okay, I'm reloaded. Here come the pain. What I remember the most is like when we when we laid down the skits, it was um, in this exact room, you know, what it looks like right now. And uh, it's weird because it takes me back 20 years. And it's, it's funny to, to see that, how precise everything looks. It looks exactly like D&D. &D. I'll never forget walking into it. I, you know, I didn't know what I was walking into literally. And uh, just to do that, and what you just heard right now, you know, the song was Biggie and Jay-Z. I never thought they would put that in front of that. So when I first heard it, I was like, oh shit, you know, Jay-Z, Biggie Smalls. But uh, this room is legendary. This is DJ Premier's room, the B room in D&D Studios. So many hits have come out of here. So many classics have, have been done in this, you know, what this room is. And to lay down my skits, to lay down what was gonna be the narration to this album, it was gonna be the, um, the introduction to the world of Jay-Z. And I had the honor to be the one to voice that. It was done right here. Uh, I knew it was gonna be big when I did it, but I never realized 20 years from now how important it was. That's, that's really what, what stands out now, that what I did was so important because reasonable doubt is very important. It's the key that unlocked the door of all the successes you see today with Rock Nation, uh, with 4th of November, with all the other ventures you see. It starts with reasonable doubt. So this is very uncanny that it's right here in this room. And of course, rest in peace to Guru, rest in peace to Big, rest in peace to all the other MCs that came out of this room and it came out of this vibe that we had circa 95, 96. That time, that era is just timeless. And as you see now, 20 years later, people are still enthralled with that time because it represented something. It was really the growth of hip hop. So more to come, much success to 4th of November for putting this together, Anel for putting this together, for everyone who put all this together. And sky's the limit now. We got a lot more to do. We got a lot more to conquer. It's the 20th anniversary, we're going to be back for the 25th, we're going to be back for the 30th, and 100 years from now, 1,000 years from now, they're going to be talking about the shit we did circa 9-6. Okay, I'm reloaded! Bye, motherfucker. DJ Tariq, Fame Academy, Fashion, Art, Music, Entertainment, and we are here in the replica of the yes, D&D yes. studio, and I'm sitting with the one and only beautiful Miss Khadija So Bash. awesome. What's up? How are you, Brother excellent. Tariq? I'm excellent. I'm um, excited today because this is the 20th anniversary of the release of Reasonable Doubt. That's insane. And your voice graces that album on this track that's playing in the background, Ain't No Nigga, yes. Jay-Z. Um, we're gonna call this behind the voice behind the hits. <laughs> and Absolutely. Let the people know what it was like that day when you recorded this hit record. First of all, it was a blessing to be called by Jazzo and Jay Z to come down and do the hook. I had no idea what I was gonna be doing. Um, you know, uh, which is one of the reasons why they called me because they knew I would get it. You know right. what I mean? 
um, came down to the studio, D and D, the infamous. That's right. As you can see, this is the actual board that we use. Wow. It's crazy. The engineer. Come right here. There. Yeah, you gotta come here real quick. <laughs> And um, I mean, he was there, you know. This is my man, Luke. That's right. Yes, and he Engineer. actually did the recording yes. on this song. That's right, Khadija. 20 years ago. Yes. 20 years Incredible. ago. It's crazy. I'm telling the story about how, you know, the speakers were kind of blown out a little bit. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> Those were long <laughs> nights. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. We them up. <laughs> what? And, and, you know, we went in. They told me what they wanted. We had one can. We yep. listened to me and Jazzo, and you know we we just we just what two or three takes, and we hit it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I think oh. we used one track with both of us singing on it. I don't even think we did. You know. Wow. No, we did, we did, did we do separate? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't even remember. I'm like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. It felt. It was just very um, surreal because we had no idea that it was gonna be ultimately what it right. became. Mm. You know, I I did the vocals and went back on tour. Wow. With Mary J. Blige, and the next thing I know, they're telling me that you got to get back. We're doing the video. You know? Wow. The video I was what? <laughs> I was going to ask you because I remember when that record came out, we were moving our, I was working for a record label, independent distribution company, and we were moving from one location to another. Yes. So when we got to the new location, we were bringing records in and furniture and we turning up the radio and Flex is on the radio. Yes. And he's playing this record. Dropping bombs, With the bombs, and I swear it felt like he played that record for like an hour. And we were I like, "What did. is he doing? <laughs> is he crazy?" Because no one has ever done that before on the radio. On the radio. Did you actually get to hear that? I did, as a matter of fact, um, in my car. Wow. And I just couldn't believe, you know, that that it was happening. Um, and and then to hear people all over the world. You know, just relate and sing the song. It was just incredible. Yeah. Did you ever get to tour with them and, and perform this record? I did a couple of shows. I was able to when Biggie was alive. Thank wow. God, got a chance to do some shows with them. It's just awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's the beginning of everyone's, you know, wow. career. Yes. Wow. Awesome experience. So we're gonna continue this interview at another time because we're in a place. This is a pop-up shop, oh, and yes. um, they're selling. Uh, sweatshirts, hoodies, and stuff like that. Yes, yes it is. But we're going to continue this interview. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I will see you soon. Much love. Bye. All right.